good morning, good morning, good morning. It's more like it, isn't it? So today's operation is to actually start attempting to make something. I've got my plants. We've got some nice dry wood and I just, I want to test out if the theory of working in the garden is actually possible. I will the vice actually attach to this workbench. How easy is it going to be to work here and just see if these plans are actually feasible given the limited amount of equipment I have. So I ended up with five box designs that I want to attempt Two, well, three of them, two of them, three of them. I don't really know. Within this first one, there is two variations of it. One with a pullout lid that's rebated into both sides. And the second one is just got this tongue out the front so you can kind of lift it from there. And then the second box design, there is three variations of it. One of which I am really excited about. The first two follow the same kind of rules as the first one with either a lift out lid or one that sort of lifts from the front. But then the third one has these cool angled sides and this design actually came about as a result of me drawing something wrong in the sketchbook you'll remember that i accidentally drew the curved sides of one of the boxes incorrectly but in doing so i uncovered this cool design and i sort of messed around with it and i changed some of the curves to facets and things and i think this one will look absolutely amazing tested this fit before bringing it to the garden. No, pot luck that, pot luck. <laughs> So I don't want to faff around too much and just get like stuck into it straight away. I just stung myself on a stinging nettle. Ow. Yeah, I don't want to hang around too much. I want to get stuck in and see if these designs are actually plausible and see how easy or difficult they are to make because I have no idea at this point what this setup's going to be like. So the first one we're going to do is going to be this one here with the angled front and then the sides that are sloped out. I wanted to have a bit of a challenge with this. I know it would have been... Oh, hello. That's another thing. I'm going to have to fight with the wind around it. I did want to challenge myself with this somewhat rather than just go for a simple square design and I think angled sides like this will be quite a challenge given the setup I have here. And so for this I've got this orangey looking material which I'm going to use for the ends and then I've got some rippled sycamore which I'm going to use for the front. I think this orange material is utility but I'm not entirely sure. It looks rather nice either way. Right, so to dimension these sides down to size, the first thing I need to do is cut them to width, which I'm gonna be doing with a jigsaw and on the shooting board. Then we're gonna get this and draw a full scale version of it onto the MDF workbench below. And then I can use that full scale version to set up my sliding bevel against it in order to work out the angle of the sides and have something that's constantly locked at the correct angle and something I can reference to throughout the project. And by the way, if you're interested in all of this equipment, like the saw horses and the mox and vice and the other things that I'm using here, I'll put links to it all in the description below, which will be affiliate links. Uh, so I'll get a small commission if you do purchase them at no extra cost to you, but everything's listed below if you are interested and impressed by what I'm using here. <laughs>
components have been sized, angles on the front and back, these edge ones, that's harder than nails that stuff and like this bench is pretty rigid but still a bit of wobble on it and that yeah <laughs> they were difficult to play very difficult but we did it and now we're gonna start marking out the dovetails so these dovetails are a little bit weird to cut out when you take into account the angle on the edge of it well it's not difficult to cut out it's difficult to mark out above all things and if you want to know how to do this yourself i've already done a lesson on this so there'll be a link to that in the description below carcass is done very happy with how that's turned out now I'm gonna start planning for the well I'm gonna start planning I'm gonna start marking the rebate for the lid which is gonna be slotted in from the top and also I'm gonna start marking out the groove for the bottom of the box as well this is gonna be cut with a plow plane which hasn't actually been delivered yet but I can begin to mark out a little bit of that but to start with we're gonna do the rebate I really need to get better at putting tools back instead of just constantly taking them out, but here we are. So the carcass is done, uh, the lid section is rebated and is looking very nice. I've been toying around with this for a while and I think I'm going to go for Zebrano for the lid. I don't know if you can see it, it's like sun, it's so, it's so hard to film in the sun out here. I need to get some sort of UV filter or sunglasses for this camera. <sighs> done? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think Zebrano is going to look pretty nice for this. I have some sort of like exotic theme going on, minus the curly rippled sycamore. I don't know. Anyway, what are we doing here? One, one, four. So now I need to plane the angles on the edge of the lid in order to match the angles on the inside of the box. And I've been playing around with how to do this. And I've figured that if I just tilt the box up to match that, find a shim that fits under it, thereabouts, there you go. And then basically just use that as a riser for the lid. It's about there, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm sure that'll be close enough. You gotta make do with things like this, isn't you? Funny, so it looks like it's going to be really wobbly when you put it in like look at the state of that but once i cut out that rebate and the tapering gauges you see that the top is actually a really snug fit it doesn't actually quite go in yet so it's quite um yeah it's quite weird to get your head around when you first fit that i haven't done this before but i think you'll agree that is quite a nice selection of wood that i'm very happy with it just caught a glimpse of the sunburn 
Is it obvious? Oh dear. So I think that's as far as I'm gonna get with this box today because I can't really do a lot until I get the plow plane to create the groove on the bottom. And like once that's done, I can then clamp this, finish up fitting the lid, and then all will be dandy. So tomorrow we're gonna to start on a new design while we await for the plow plane to arrive. And it's gonna be slightly trickier than the one that we've achieved today. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.